Welcome to our Sunday specials. Let's take you through the life of a very interesting young boy. In life, sometimes things are just best imagined. But when they appear in reality, one cannot but be lost in astonishment. In this report, we'll bring you the story, an imaginable story of a four-year-old boy who has a register of more than 200 Yoruba proverbs and their English translations, popularly called Adigmolowe Yoruba, Ola Wakon, in this Sunday special, Journey to Ibadan, to get a grasp of Ola Milikon Yanolua Adebayo's indigenous cultural attributes. This is not my first time of going on a journey to the ancient city of Ibadan. As I sit in the car, reflect on the essence of my journey and how a boy of four could be so knowledgeable to the extent of spitting out the number of proverbs that an elderly person may not be able to attempt. This boy, who got a loud ovation while displaying in front of hundreds of the NSAS protesters, is the reason I am in Ibadan. He is already the delight of many on social media. <laughs> well dressed, like a prince in the palace, here he is in an adored Yoruba attire. In this small penthouse, Adigun has come to be a priceless jewel, respected by kings and queens who cherish the Yoruba culture. He confidently exhumes the air of cultural values. Holding firmly to his talking drum, he seeks to engage me. My name is Mr. Adebayola He may not be able to have a long conversation, but he could a good number of Yoruba proverbs, poems, and their translations. <laughs> But stretching to honor a giraffe does not diminish a bit of our dignity, be humble. Even his father, who often prompts him, is always holding on to a piece of paper while the genius effortlessly recites the proverbs and confidently says their English translations. <laughs> Wealth recites inside fields. Whoever desire wealth must let it send me to fields. Adigun, so? you are just amazing. All these proverbs, you use them to teach people how to behave. This is amazing. How a four year old can have more than 200 proverbs and other things to be a cultural ambassador, to teach both the young and the old how to live culturally and how to add value to the society. I am a BSc holder. This is Ola Melikon's father. He is a graduate of economics from the National Open University of Nigeria and the Badon Polytechnic. Ola Dimeji Adebayo recounts how Adigun was born the same day and time, exactly one year after the family had a second stillbirth. The first one we had was in the, in the year 2014, January. The baby uh, was given birth to after, I think it was around uh, the fifth month, okay. the fifth month of the pregnancy. So we had to uh, transfer the baby from uh, the hospital to a uh, university teaching hospital here in Ibadan. So after a few months, the baby eventually uh, died. Ola Milekon had delay in speaking after it was noticed to have uttered some words to the amazed parents 
when he was just a few weeks old. He did not start talking until he was two years old, but how he was able to assimilate all he knows gets me wondering. We are sitting in the room that day, and I said, ah, look on, it's been a long He just said, what's your name? Ah, look on, it's been a long I'm so surprised that, ah, how can three months old boy talk like this? From that, he's not talk again. It was after two years that Arigono did his birthday. I was having a, a discussion with my wife on that day. And uh, I, I could remember I said, Ayeko to onu ofeki, which means the word reject the truth. So he said, Ayeko to onu ofeki, the word reject the truth, and the heaven is against deception. Well, I was surprised, but not too surprised, because he has been doing so many wonderful things before that time. Adigun's paternal grandparents are both dead, but his father likened his gift to that of his grandfather, with whom he shares a striking resemblance. My late father, who died over 14 years ago, he so passionate about Yoruba culture and Yoruba uh, proverb and all those things. Whenever he wants to talk, he loves seeing whatever discussion he, he, he is saying with Yoruba proverbs, uh, Yoruba poems and all those things that has to do with Yoruba culture. As Olamilekon recites the proverbs and praises God in Yoruba, the maternal grandmother's reaction caught my attention. Owoshe ni Abiola is his grandmother. She prefers to call him Iyanu Olua, meaning God's wonder. Mrs. Abiola explains how God had spoken to her about the miracle child that was coming into the family after the first two babies died. Definitely, she says Yano Lua's gift is a confirmation of God's promise to her before he was born. Her prayer is for God to connect him to those who would make him fulfill destiny. Iyanu Lua demonstrated the bond that exists between him and his grandmother. I will give her money. <laughs> his mother is grateful that God has used her as the vessel to bring Iyanu Lua to life. She buttresses the story of how the destiny child has come to add glamour to the family. A member of our household triply will not be able to buy him back at a great value. I do not expect what Adigun is doing. I do not expect expect it at all at all because before I think it is slow nana. But after that he starts speaking by two 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 years. He starts talking small 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 so that whoa well, what he's doing now I did not expect it. But to the glory of it is a gift. Hear him sing the Oyo State anthem flawlessly. <laughs> He already has some awards in recognition of his contribution to the preservation of culture. And I'm not sure too. He has not allowed his love for culture and tradition to be cloud his interest in education. TV times one, TV, TV times two, six. It is time for us to meet with his head teacher at school to understand how he is able to balance between academics and his gifts. Adigun could trace the path to a school. He led the crew. This is the head teacher at this school. She recounts how Olamilekon has been a source of inspiration and a cultural ambassador to other pupils. He is in nursery too. We start Yoruba class from primary one. But when I'm even teaching the higher classes, he would come to me, until I know it, then he would tell me. Like a day, there is this poem we usually sing every morning. I am not a goat. A goat is stubborn, stiff, and naughty. He said, Auntie, I can say it in Yoruba. 
the other teachers were like, what, wait. He said, no. Auntie, I can say it in Yoruba. I said, okay, go ahead. He said, Ewure Jero Ile, Omanji Yaku Upo, Nitori Aiboro. Then he faced the other pupils and said, Enyi Omodi Egbo, Emma Shebi Ewure, Fayo, Fayo, Fayo. He sometimes assists the teacher to explain some Yoruba proverbs and poems. Back to Lagos, I further set out to meet with a distinguished professor of Yoruba and a theater icon who are deep in the Yoruba culture and value system. They confess that Olamilekon is a rare breed that I, I cannot imagine nurtured. how he is able to bring this into his cerebr cerebrum. Within the space of four years, when at least two of those years he would have uh, spent as a toddler and a tattler. One of the ancestors that rings, nobody can explain that. Science cannot explain it. But we cannot rule it out. We cannot say because science cannot explain it, then it doesn't exist. Because not everything that exists that science will be able to explain. Our parents stop the fight that lead to divorce. Is the baby they suffer the pain? At a time that most homes have thrown away the cultural essence of their existence and embraced foreign alternatives, Adigun Uluwe Yoruba's intervention may just be one that is needed to reawaken the advocacy for cultural renewal at all levels in Nigeria to guard against indigenous languages going into extinction. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Ibado. Of course, no longer the beautiful ones are not yet born. The beautiful ones have been born in Ola Miliko.